These two rows we're reserving for uh, Brussels sprouts. Across the country, urban farming is playing a role in the redevelopment of many cities, including here in Warren. It's a community garden, but we um, farm on a tenth of an acre of it. Daryl and Christina Campbell overlook Roosevelt Community Garden in Warren. We spend a lot of time out here, actually. I, don't, I haven't put a number on it. I haven't really counted it, but all my time. <laughs> we got in, interested in growing our own food back in 2010, and we started growing um, hydroponic lettuce in our basement. Um, and I was growing herbs um, in containers on our porch. And from there, it just kind of stemmed, and we've just been trying to expand more and more. The Farm and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations estimates that urban farming provides income for at least 100 million people worldwide. A little bit of everything. Turnips, beets, radishes, greens, kale, collards, Swiss chard, lettuce, um, salad mix. Um, we're doing a lot of beans this year and we're going to try to do a lot of carrots. We just got three rows of squash planted. And we have a row of ground cherries and a row of strawberries. Eventually this will all be planted and, and grow and stuff. My husband's out here very early in the morning. He opens up the hoop house. Um, he's growing in there this year um, and he gets the irrigation going. We built this with uh, help from some volunteers last October. We have uh, a variety of tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and cucumbers growing in here. We have slicing cucumbers on one side and pickling cucumbers on the other side. Uh, we just planted those from seed. The camels say urban farming is not without its challenges. When we first got everything in, we had a lot of rain, so some of our seed died. And then it got real dry, so we were hand watering everything. Um, so we got set up with irrigation, and that's something that as soon as we were ready to plant this year, we got the irrigation set up, so we don't have to, we don't have any issues with that this year. We're trying to figure in um, crop rotation and stuff, so we're trying to move things around a little bit. Um, we had tomatoes and stuff up here last year. Um, the soil up here is filled with more clay, so it's, it's kind of hard to get stuff to grow. But um, we've been using a lot of um, worm castings and stuff. You have to have a little bit to put into it um, to start out, but um, we did make a little bit of a profit last year, even everything that we put into irrigation and stuff. And this year we don't have as much irrigation and, and stuff to put into it, so we're looking to make a better profit this year. For us, TMP was, was um, important to us. They helped us um, get started at first. The Trumbull Neighborhood Partnership, or TNP, is a 501c3 nonprofit community development corporation serving the neighborhoods of Warren. They had the farmer's market, so um, that was our first avenue of, of selling the produce. It's, it's a really enjoyable experience when people like what they find. Um, and you learn a lot. It's really cool to you know, be able to communicate with people and hear from them what they want grown for them. And the Campbells are also trying to get the community more involved. We installed a free book library to try to get the kids involved over here. Um, any of the neighborhood kids that come over, we try to talk to them and, and you know, let them know that they're welcome to play here. This is a, a welcome place for everybody. A lot of the other gardens offer like workshops during the summer and stuff too about planting and um, I know that there's other programs um, through Valley Counseling and stuff that teach kids about the growing and they have a cooking class at the end. So something like that during the summer would be, would be nice to have going on here too. I'm interested in teaching kids about nutrition and, and growing their own food and stuff. So we're, we're looking into doing stuff like that. It's health benefits basically. Um, learn a lot about how foods are the best medicine and when you're growing organically and utilizing nutrients in the ground that's the best food you can get. I think it's very important because it puts it puts local produce where there's not any available. Um, I'd like to see more more of this stuff happen um, in all other parts of Warren too.